This is an Allen Bradley Micrologics 1200 and this is an Allen Bradley Panelview Plus 600 HMI. In this video, I will show you how to set up the serial communication between the PUC and HMI. The model number for the HMI is 2711PC-T6C20D. It is the Panelview Plus Compact 600. And the model number for the PUC is 1762-L40BXB. If this is a brand new PUC, this port is set up for DF1 by default. If this is an old or used PUC, to reset this port back to DF1 driver, you can use the paper clip to press and hold the COM button here. When PUC is powered up, to download program from computer to PUC, first you will need this cable 1761-CBL-PM02 to go from this route port A pin to 9 pin serial connector and then this zero to USB adapter cable GUC 232A to go from 9 pin DB9 to USB after connecting the PMO2 to the zero to USB adapter. You can plug this end of the adapter into the computer USB port and then power up the PLC. On the computer, first go to start, then open. RS Links Classic In RS Links Classic Go to Communications Configure Drivers Available Driver Types Select RS232 DF1 Devices Add New Okay. To find out what COM port on computer PC is connected to, go back to start. Type computer. Open computer management. In computer management window, select device manager, expand ports, COM6 is the port on your computer PUC is connected to. Then go back to Oslin Classic. Select COM6 for COM port. Then auto configure. Auto configuration successful. OK. Close. Expand this. So this is the PUC. Micrologic 1200 in Arslings Classic. Then open your PUC program.
go to channel configuration make sure it is set for df1 full duplex on channel 0 ok then go to comms system comms select the PC then click download yes 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 change back to run mode yes do you want to go online yes you are now online with the controller to work on the HMI program first you need to go offline no then close the PUC program go to start type rs links go to RS Links Classic Launch Control Panel. Open it. RS Links Classic application is running. Stop. So it is not running now. You can close it. On the HMI itself, first you will need to set up the IP address for it to download program from your computer to the HMI. I already set up the IP address for this HMI. It is 192.168.0.100 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. On computer first, unplug the USB adapter from the computer and then plug it back into the computer. Make sure PC is still connected to the computer. And then use the CAT5 cable to connect the HMI to the computer. Open Factory Top View Studio. And then open the HMI program. Go to Auslinks Enterprise. Expand it. Open communication setup. In communication setup, under Design Local, right click on Auslinks Enterprise. Add driver. Select serial DF1. OK. Select 6 for COM port. 6 is the port on computer PUC connect to. 
then select SLC or Micrologics for device and check for use auto configuration. Okay. Expand it. This is the Micrologics 1200. Select it. On the left side, select the shortcut. Click apply. And then copy from design to runtime. Yes. Go to runtime target. Right click on DF1 P2P. Select properties. Then change COM port back to 1 because this is the port on the HMI. Okay. Verify. Close. Okay. On the HMI, to check the firmware first, go to Terminal Settings. Scroll down. Select System Information. In a, about Factory Talk View ME Station. In a, so the firmware version is 5.10. Close, close, close. We can now disconnect the PC from the computer. To connect PC to HMI, first we need to remove the zero to USB adapter from the PMO2 cable. Then we need to have a mini changer, changer to convert this female connector to a male connector. We need a no modem cable. Both ends of the no modem cable are female so plug one end into here and then the other end of the no modem cable the female here we can plug it into the HMI So between the PUC and HMI, we have the PMO2 cable, 1761-CBL-PMO2, and then the mini gender changer, and then the no modem cable. Back to the camera, after we connect the HMI to the computer. Make sure the connection between HMI and computer is good. So the HMI IP address is 192.168.0.100. Zero percent loss. Connection is good.
close in the HMI program go to application create runtime application because the HMI firmware is 5.10 so we have to select runtime 5.10 application and then save After the MEM file was created, go to Tools, Transfer Utility, select the MEM file, select the HMI, download. Download has completed successfully. Okay. So let's check the HMI. See the communication between PUC and HMI is good. HMI show all the readings from the PUC. That's it. Thank you for watching.